I have to ask this question, not just to myself, but <laughs> for any of you listening. Is YouTube a big freaking time waster? I mean, think about it. The more that I look at my feed and so many of these other channels that have large followings, largely due to purchasing bots and getting their channels started. Not saying all channels do that, but a majority of these, you know, getting more popular occultist channels or decoding matrix and all those things. Um, the more I look at it, it's like, they're just all these cults and a whole bunch of followers and they're just trying to have you give them money when they've been, you know, obviously exploiting smaller channels, uh, getting their information and bouncing off their own ideas without, you know, of course, posting credit for that and making up fake people they're crediting. The more I'm on YouTube, it's like... All I see is just a whole bunch of cults being people, a whole bunch of followers, basically. No, very rare that you find a channel that's their own true leader and you can feel they have good intentions. So these are just some feelings and thoughts I fluctuate from time to time, going back and forth with, you know, I guess feeling, you know, a little bit of frustration and, you know, because a lot of us do come from a good place of trying to understand and learn about ourselves and this world we're in and and it's just you know kind of goes back to when I first started my channel I don't know it's probably what 15 years ago that my really my first intuition was telling me that you can't see your audience you don't know who's listening who's watching and then it always kind of creeped me out. And now I understand why I had those feelings because one, I've connected with a lot of um, really good souls here. A lot of you know who you are. And, but that is such a minority almost to the impact and the damage that things have, can be done with all these, you know, other stalkers that just they make their living off of presenting themselves to the world like they're this great researcher, like they're the original master of their craft. Um, kind of a twisted reality. You know, it's like we all are kind of looking for a safe place. I would say that we can just openly commune with one another and have respect for one another and share ideas and and trying to put the puzzle pieces together but it's a double-edged sword and I just go back and forth with this because the more I'm going to put out information I'd like to put out information of things that I've worked on a lot of my life and how it all connects it's just I don't like putting that information out continuously on the same platform for these other copycats and trolls and bots and creatures basically to just keep adding to their to their cult their cult leader status kind of going back and forth here and maybe many of you feel the same way you get frustrated sometimes you know honestly I wish there was a way to like pre-approve people to come to my channel and you know have a select group uh, I have thought about just doing um, maybe like a small Patreon or, you know, I I don't know if I'll ever get past a thousand subscribers here on YouTube to do that with my own like member, a small membership or something that I could, you know, people that are interested in what I have to say in my work, that'd be great. But at this point, I'm not really sure where to go from here. So, I know that a lot of you that are listening are really genuine, you know, and unfortunately I can't block the, uh, 
the trolls, and they're more than trolls. They're some of them are dark occultists, and they dabble in those dark arts. So I do feel when those energies come across my field for what I speak out about or talk about. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of in that point right now of limbo of you know I'm gonna continue doing my work and such, but again how I go about posting it so just some thoughts if you guys have any of course leave them below but you know enjoy your day in the matrix <laughs> take care